All right, so today we're going to be going over why it is so many A1398, 2012, 15-inch Retina MacBook Pros with 650M graphics cards die. When I say die, I mean randomly start kernel panicking, randomly freeze, randomly get black screen, or give you no image at all. It's a very common problem, and it happens a lot more often than you would think. And if you had this machine any time up until December 31st of 2016, you were actually eligible for a free repair under an extended warranty program. And you may be wondering why it is you don't know that that program exists. Well, you don't know that program exists because Apple never told you. Unlike companies that will alert users that own products or make public announcements when it is there's a recall program, Apple kind of hides it in the back of their website somewhere, hoping that you're never going to find it. But not to worry, today I'm going to show you how it is you fix this problem, what causes this problem, and we're going to restore image to this machine, hopefully because this is live, not edited, so if it doesn't work, I'm kind of screwed. So let's get to work and take a look at the circuit that is responsible for creating CPU vCore. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the schematic, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like on the board, because a lot of you may be under this idea that when you buy this machine, that when you pay the premium, that when you spend $2,300 or $3,000 or $4,000 on the machine, that what you're spending a premium on, what you're paying a premium for, is to get a product that's durable, made with higher build quality, superior materials, or superior engineering. And if that's the case, well, you're wrong. So let's just get this on the screen here, and sh let's dig into it. Now, we're looking at the this machine, this is the 820-3332 motherboard. We're going to take a look at a chip called U8900. 8900 is the IC. This is a buck controller regulator. It's going to control the switching of these transistors. These transistors are going to switch on and off, on and off and off. So this up here is 12.56 volts, and it's going to send spikes of 12.56 volts through this coil. So you're going to have 12, 0. 12, 0, 12, 0, 12, 0. And eventually it's going to average out to something around 0.9 volts of GPU V core. Now, if the chip just so happens to be soldered onto the board using chip quick, play dough, or silly putty, as is the case in this lovely Apple product, then what will happen is over time it will start to crash as the GPU starts to get 0.6 volts or even as low as 0.3 volts instead of its standard 0.9 volts. You may be thinking if you got an Iris model that you're good, but if you bought a 2013 model and it has an 8203662 motherboard, even though it doesn't have a GPU, you're still going to be subject to random crashes. We haven't even figured out that one yet, and we've had almost five years at this point. At least this one has a fixable problem. If you bought the Iris one, you're actually more screwed, since I saw somebody in the comments who mentioned that. Open your machine, 8203662. You should throw it in the ocean blue. Okay, not actually, but you should probably sell it on eBay. A bit more e-waste friendly, but that doesn't rhyme. So let's take a look at those solder joints. We're going to take a look at them at an angle, and you can tell me what you think of the quality of those joints, those nice hairy joints. So let's take a look. Ew. That is some silly putty. Look at that. This is like chip quick. That is junk. That is genuine garbage right there. All right, let's get this in better focus. Junk. Absolute garbage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Amtec NC559 Flux, which you can buy on store.rossmangroup.com. Help solder flow. Don't delay. Buy today. We're going to turn on our fume extractor. Turn on the iron. Here I'm going to be using a Hakko FM2032 iron with a T30-KN tip. We have links in the description below. By the way, I just wanted to say a very special thank you to everybody who made a purchase using the Amazon links below. We do get a commission for if you do make a purchase. And... God bless you all, if you did. So we're going to go through over here, and we're going to make this solder great again. going to make it look great. It's going to give us something to celebrate. And look at what that looks like by comparison. 
Look at that. Look at that beautiful solder. Would you offer an iPhone storage upgrade service? I wouldn't do that because it doesn't make economical sense. The amount of time, effort, and liability there, uh, when you consider the amount of money you can make, it doesn't make any sense to offer that. Unless you're, it makes sense to offer it in China. It doesn't make sense in New York where the combination of regulation, high taxes, and everything like that, it, it doesn't. You know, when you look at the wages that are required to, in, in Manhattan to pay anybody so that they can live, and then you look at the, the regulation and all that, and the, the cost of doing business, and then you look at the fact that like buying the chip is 60 to 80 bucks, and then the liability of potentially breaking their phone, and, it, and then the amount of money that a customer is willing to pay for, it, it doesn't add up. If someone can prove me wrong, I wish them the best of luck. Anyway, so we're going to go back here and do the other side. Kind of go over the chip there. Get the pro points around it. Bada bing. Look at that. So look at what the solder looks like, the factory solder, and then we're going to compare and contrast that to the solder that I just put. Thoughts on Apple making their own chips? Hey, I have my doubts there. I have my doubts there. But never know. My Iris Pro is from 2015. Is this better? Those don't have the same faults as the 2013 one. The 2013-14 irises, you're kind of screwed. There's really... Duke and I have no idea. All right, so check it out. So this is the replacement solder, original. Replacement, original. And it's kind of hard to see there because you got all this futz in the way. It's kind of... Blow it out a little bit. This is not reballing to the individual that asked. Yeah, you can probably see that now. So the left and the right are the original solder, and the top and the bottom are the new solder. Night and day. Okay, let's go and do this side. This knife tip, the T30-KN, makes it very easy to slide down and redo the QFN. And you can buy this tip on Amazon Prime today by clicking the link in the description below. All right, same thing down here. All the old junky solder is going to get sucked up onto the iron. We clean the iron, go through once more. Going to get rid of all that stormy old solder. <sighs> what are the symptoms of 2014's dying? Random crashing. Random crashing on the 8203662 board. They like to randomly crash. Good luck figuring that one out. So, let's see if we get ourselves a picture. Because wouldn't this be a humiliating live video if after all that work, you don't get a picture? That would actually be quite humiliating and embarrassing, so... We're just going to hope that this all works. Show me a picture. Temp do you run your iron at? I think that's 840. 840 Fahrenheit. I got to get a clip for this damn microphone. How's it going, Paul Daniels? All right. After all that, give me a question mark folder. Give, come on. Show me that beautiful question mark folder. I'll just, let's just start with a light. So it does look like we get an apple on the screen, which I didn't get before. That's beautiful. And it also sounds like something just beeped, but I don't know where it came from. Huh? That's interesting. Let's 
no message on screen. Uh oh. Huh. I'll have to look that up. Are you measuring in Mac volts today? We're measuring in mate volts. I still haven't downloaded your new software, Paul. I'm sorry there. I'm going to. Okay, we're just going to have this turn on for a minute. We're going to see if we get a question mark on the screen. I hope we do. And I will read your comments that from that donation that didn't show up in the screen in the meantime. You got a new shout out on Linus Tech Tips video about Apple. It's not on YouTube yet, though. Oh, I'm curious. Hi, I got myself a... Oh, that's an old one. Hmm. Uh-oh. I think my whole system just borked. Uh-oh. Did you sell the ugly motherboard that Paul fixed? No. It's still, ha it's still somewhere behind the camera, actually. Thanks for... A, huh. Interesting. Okay, I'm not sure where that beep came from. So we're going to turn this around. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't have the heart or the courage to realize if this doesn't work, so I can't look. I can't look. It's going to be too painful, too bruising to my ego if this doesn't work live on camera. So can you guys tell me if there's a question mark there? Oh. Is there a question mark folder? Do we got a picture? Give a shout out to Brazilians in the chat. Shout out to Brazil and shout out to Tiago Baracho if he's watching this as the best MacBook repair technician in all of Brazil. Uh, is, is there a question mark there? Do we have a picture? Do we have GPU vCore? I hope we have GPU vCore. Question mark. It's there! We win! So, there you go. So, if you have this particular issue, if you have this issue, and I'll just bring it up on Apple's website. Now you know what it is that you need to do to fix it. Look at that. Look at that. And the program is no longer going. But that doesn't matter. Because now you know how to fix it. So let's bring this up on screen. Here we go. Apple has determined a small percentage of MacBook, pff, small percentage, my, my something I can't say on camera anymore, may exhibit distorted video, no video, or unexpected system restarts. These MacBook Pro systems were sold between February 2011 and December 2013. Apple or an Apple authorized service provider will repair affected MacBook Pro systems free of charge. See below for details and affected models and service options. When they say that they'll fix it free of charge, what they actually mean is that they will put a piece of shoe rubber on the chip that they will then, yeah, look at, the, it's, it's this thing. They're going to put a little piece of shoe rubber on the chip, and I showed you it in my video. Our Jer Jerry Rig Fix is in, unique to independent repair. They put a little piece of shoe rubber on the chip between there to just smash it into the board, because that's a fix, right? That's totally a fix. And this covers the MacBook Pro Retina 15-inch mid-2012. This program covers effective models of MacBook Pro until December 31st, 2016, or four years from its original sale date, which means that you're screwed. And again, if you're not sure, if you don't, if you're wondering to yourself, why is it that I never knew about this, even if it's on Apple's website? How did I never get a service advisory? They have my email. I've signed up. I've registered an iCloud account. Why? I've registered with my serial number. Why didn't they ever let me know that this was a problem? Because that's what they think of you. That's how much they care about your business. That's how much they care if there's any... This is, this is what they think of you. This is what they think of their customer. And this is something that you should keep in mind if you're considering buying another one of these products. The 3000 you spent on this, they don't care. And when I talk about the repair that they do, the little piece of shoe rubber, let's just bring that up on screen because that's one of my favorites. And I'm not sure why the... Comments from donations don't show up anymore. I got to fix that, but can't figure it out while on stream. So we're going to, I want to show you that because this is something that when I first saw this, I, I, I nearly crapped myself. I, yeah, let's, let's find that. Hmm. No, I did this over the last month or so. Here we go. 
So in this video, I'm just going to mute myself because I can't... I don't know how anybody stands listening to my voice. It's just aggravating. Oh. So, mute. So, check this out. This is what they put on there. See this? See this little piece of rubber? What they do is they take this little piece of rubber, this little piece of shoe leather, they cut it into a square, and they put it on top of the chip. Of course, including dirt, because it wouldn't be a MacBook motherboard if it wasn't covered in dirt. This thing over here, they put that on the board, and then what it does is it smashes its way be between the motherboard and the casing and it pushes the chip onto the board. This is literally like if you're having an issue with the Touch IC on your iPhone and you decide to bend it to make it work again. And these are the people that have the audacity to say that independent repair is just unqualified. And who knows what they're gonna do trying to fix these problems? I never put a little piece of rubber inside a computer to shove a chip there. I use a soldering iron, but then again, what do I know? That's it for today, and as always, I hope that you learned something. And do ring that little bell if you want to get notifications on new videos, I am going to be doing a video on the new iPhone and what happens if you go to an independent service center to get your iPhone fixed. What is it that's in store for you? What happens if you try to fix your own phone? Will it work again if you decide to update it? Hey, stay tuned and find out. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.